Zimbabwe School Examination Council, General Certificate of Education Ordinary Level, Mathematics Paper 2. This is June 2017. Session 2 hours 30 minutes. So the paper 2 is 2 hours 30 minutes. So the most important thing here is to manage your time. Uh, yeah, you can use the geometrical instruments. These are additional materials, geometrical instruments, mathematical tables or non-programmable electronic calculator, then a graph or a plain paper. So this lab is 430. Uh, you can use a calculator or mathematical tables. Let's start. Section A, this is with 64 marks. You are required to answer all questions in this section. Number one, simplify 2 minus a half times 4 over 5, giving your answer is a mixed number. So we want to give our answer as a mixed number, not as a proper number. So I encourage you to use a calculator. So we must show a step that we are going to apply board mass. Therefore, we are going to write our 2 then minus. We use our calculator to multiply this. Half times 4 over 5. Your scientific calculator must give you your answer as a fraction. So after punching this into my calculator, I get 2 over 5. Then I will also punch this into the calculator 2 minus 2 over 5, which is 1, 3 over 5. 1 and 3 over 5. Your answer must give you, uh, your calculator must give you an answer as a mixed number. Part B of number 1 find the highest common factor, which is the XCF of. Uh, these uh, numbers in index form and the question requires us to leave the answer in index form so when dealing with index form you must take the numbers with least index common factors with least index here we have 2 this 2 to the power 3 this 2 to the power 3 this 2 to the power 4 so the least index on the common factors a common factor of 2 here is 2 to the power 3, so we write out 2 to the power 3. Then on 3's here, the list is 3 to the power 1, which is 3 here. On 5's, we have 5 to the power 1, which is the list in this, which is the factor with the list index. Then here, um, on 7's, 7 squared is the list least power therefore we multiply the numbers 2 to the power 3 from the 2's 3 from the 3's 5 from the 5's then 7 squared from the 7's we write our answer like this then on part C find the lowest common multiple LCM of 3x squared y 5x cubed y squared and 8xy cubed Therefore, we must first deal with the numbers, find the LCM of numbers, so we must express them as index numbers, if possible. So, our numbers here, you can see that 3, uh, we cannot simplify it further, and 5 we cannot simplify it further. Then, 8 can be expressed as 2 cubed. Then, on X, we align our x our x is here then we align our y is here so on lcm uh, on common factors we take uh, a factor with the highest power then on and common factors we just multiply them so here we are going to multiply 3 times 5 times to the power 3. Remember to use your calculator. 
Then here on axis, we take x to power 3, which is the highest power. Then we take y to power 3, which is the highest power here. Then I use my calculator, 3 times 5 times 2 to the power 3, it gives me 120. Then here, I multiply, and this gives me x cubed, y cubed. So 120, x cubed, y cubed is the final answer. Then on the next number, next part, which is D, express 248 as product of its prime factors. Let's express it. The smallest C prime factor here is 220 to 248. This 124. You can also use a calculator here. 20 to 124 is 62, 20 to 60 is 31. So 31 is a prime a number, so it's only divisible by 31. So we can express our 248 as 2 cubed times 31. Then Part 2 requires us to find the number by which 248 must be multiplied to make it a perfect square. So we must have numbers uh, raised to the power 2, pay of factors raised to the power 2. So let me rewrite this with a... Yeah, you can see that this 2 squared times 2, this makes up... Uh, to the power 3, then times that 1. To make this a perfect square, we must have uh, a square here and a, square uh, a squared factor and a squared factor. So this means we are going to multiply here by 2 and to multiply here by 31 to make this a perfect square. So, so that it becomes 2 squared times 2 squared times 31 squared. You must know that perfect squared if factors, p of factors that are raised to power 2. So this means to make this a perfect, a perfect square, I'm going to multiply by 2 here and to multiply by 31. So 2 times 31, this gives me 62. Then on number 2,